video I'll be walking you through rates and time solve. Time solve has an incredibly flexible rate structure. We know that many firms will need to offer various rate options and time solve is designed to accommodate these needs. First, we'll take a look at timekeeper rates. Default rates are set under the profile of each timekeeper. To access this, click under Account Professionals, the name of the professional, and under the Profile tab you'll see here the default rate. Specify the default timekeeper rate here. Failure to enter any amount will result in time entries with a $0 value for that timekeeper. Next, I'll take you over to where you specify which rates to apply under the clients and the matters. So if you go ahead and click on clients, clients and matters, and you can choose to define either client level rates or matter level rates. In this example, I'll be taking you to the matter rate. Under the general tab, you can see here a rate by field. When entering client or matter details, users must specify the rate to be applied. A rate set up at the matter level will always override a rate at the client level. In this way, you can bill out multiple matters at different rates for the same client. Time self rates are a form of hierarchy. So, the timekeeper default rate. The timekeeper default rate will be implied as defined under the timekeeper's individual settings. When no alternative is specified, the default rate will always be applied. Task the timekeeper default. This means that the timekeeper default will be applied unless there is a task code entered against the time entry that has its own specified task code rate. The task code rates will then override any timekeeper default rate. Global rate. Global rates are the customized rates saved under the global rates section, which is under time, settings and the global rates tab. Assigning a global rate to a client means that users will have the benefit, for example, of giving the client a discounted rate of X percentage for all the time and expense entries. Or, for example, an ongoing case spanning over numerous years can have a 2015 rate applied to it. Task then global rate. This means the, go the global rate will be the standard rate applied unless the task code chosen for the entry has its own specified rate. The task code rate will then override any timekeeper default rate. The matter rate. This means that when you save this selection as matter rate, an edit rates button will appear, allowing the user to specify the matter rate. Matter level rates override any client level rates. Task then matter rate. The matter rate will be applied unless the task code chosen for the entry has its own specified rate. The task code rate will then override any matter rate. Next, uh, we have the global rate section under time, settings, and the global rates tab. The advantage of using global rates is that you only have to hear these rates once, and you have them saved in the system ready to use as you please. As an example of the benefits of global rates, if you have different rates for specific clients, you can name a rate by the client name and no longer have to worry about memorizing their rate when entering time for them. You can also assign matter specific rates, for example if you have different rates for the type of work you are doing, litigation, divorce or child custody, you can save those rates under global rates and assign those rates to the cases as they come in. So let's go ahead and click on new global rate. Now, the description is only available when viewing the list of global rates under this specific tab. 
when you are signing global rates in the clients and matters section you will only see the name of the global rate so make sure that the name is as, as descriptive as you can make it once you've saved the rate you can go ahead and click on edit rates you can see here a column to fill in the alternative rates against each user's default timekeeper rate it's also important to note that if at any point you are changing rates you want to make sure you edit these rates for any existing and unbuilt time entries TimeSelf allows for old time entry rates to be updated with new rates and batches to save time and prevent missed entries to achieve this you need to click on the Rate Changes tab. Specify all the matters or select as many as needed. In this example, I will be selecting all matters. Select a from and to date, or you can leave this blank if you do not want to restrict the dates. If you click on Include Time Entries where rate had been overridden, this will include any entries that have been manually altered in the search. After hitting Search, you can see that a list of time entries will be displayed showing the old rate and the new rate. Select the desired entries or click all by clicking the topmost checkbox and click on update rates in selected time entries to update the time entry rates. Thank you for listening.